leading to the secret of staying through his basics, and also the identity of your nefarious presence. Find out who they are and save me. I only know the first clue. Find the ones with blessed tongues, for God they serve. View their praises as your foundress would observe. Then lift your eyes to greet the divine and find the clue hidden in the design. Hugs and kisses, Lord Sainsbury. Here, <laughs> if you could bring Mr. Cuddles with you, that would be great. And we're supposed to believe this. It sounds like a load of bollocks. Don't say it does sound a bit far fetched. Well, the writers were desperate. This is the first decent storyline they fought on. Anyway, doesn't it sound delightfully dramatic and adventurous? Don't we all love adventure? Well, the thrills associated with adventure are caused by dopamine, so your observation... I said, don't we all love adventure? Yes. yes. Good. Well, let's begin with the first clue. Wait, should we show that to the porters first? I mean, it was probably intended for them and not the students. She has a point. Do hope the hotties on duty today. For God's sake, they're all like 40 plus. <laughs> Men are like wine. They mature with age. I'd expect a better comeback from an English student. Oh, come on, quit stalling. Let's go to the podge. without this rather low quality and disgusting produce for a while. We are supposed to be being prepared Are you real... still talking? Do you know that talking too much can lead to the inflammation of the larynx, well, which is caused by the irritation of the vocal cords found in the vocal folds? This leads to an illness called dysphonia, but actually often incorrectly called laryngitis. Laryngitis is only a strain of that particular illness. Two <laughs> things. Point one. That is not an invitation for you to also start talking. Number two, seriously guys, this could be a matter of life and death, not only for the students of Cambridge, but for other people all across the country. Other people? Yeah, you know, the seven billion other humans that live outside the bubble. I can't remember something like that. Although, if you're being actually accurate, you should call them homo sapiens. God's sake, if none of you have got the balls to do this, I'm going to get it started myself. Damn, it's not the hearty. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think that this kind of sexual frivolity has any place on a code red top secret mission like this? I mean, what are you going to do? Take it back to your room? You rang. Yeah, well, we need your help. You haven't <laughs> all lost your keys. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, now that you mention it. <laughs> well, at least you are the freshest we saw walking on the grass in the first court last night. Walking oh, on the grass, grass in the first course. course! Indeed. But anyway, is there anything we can do to help you that doesn't involve walking on the grass in the first court? Because otherwise we're going to have to get an even bigger sign for our pumpkin this year. <laughs> last year everyone thought it was a bit of a joke. But actually. If you want to know any jokes, I know some rather good ones, uh, some science ones. For instance, there was an English man, an Irish man, and a Higgs boson. Uh, who uh, 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 <laughs> she's an Aski. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, guys, we're um, actually here because we found a note on the college cat. Uh, guys, we've got the note. Oh, come on, you can't have lost it already. Is he okay? He's a mathema. Uh, you know, it's so ironic just how hard mathema is finding to integrate. Yes, we're so spot of the clue. <laughs> Seriously, do any of you believe this stuff? Although, I have definitely heard of Mr. Cooks. That's besides the point. We can't have our students wandering off to some dark, damp, cold cellar to deliver a teddy bear to a man that 
quite frankly, is a walking advert for euthanasia past the age of 60. That's what she said! Sorry, what? Um, never mind. Look, I'm sorry, but we just cannot have you going up to do something so dangerous. You see, the porters agree with me. I was right. We cannot risk our lives and our reputations at this college on some wild goose chase. No, in my personal opinion, we should return to our places of abode and spend the rest of this evening in the idle chit-chat that befits our first week here at this prestigious institution. <coughs> English, too. Can you please translate? Nah, it speaks more poshly than any novel I've ever analyzed. From an English student, that was an appalling misuse of grammar. Anyway, is that everything? Yeah, thanks. Come on, guys. We're not just going to give up now, are we? No! Suicide is for the weak! <laughs> if we're going to discuss that bourgeois sport, or any science. Read the clue again. Um, find the ones with blessed tongues, for God they serve. View their praises, as your foundress would observe. Then lift your eyes to greet the divine and find the clue hidden in the design. What does that mean? Foundress. That's probably something to do with Lady Margaret Beaufort. Chapel? What? Huh? It's talking about the chapel. The choir. It's talking about the choir singing. Looks like he's not just a pretty face. But what's that got to do with Lady Margaret Beaufort? Um, oh, it's talking about the window. What? Well, when I was on the open day, um, the tour guide told me that uh, while Lady Margaret Beaufort wasn't actually allowed in college because women were banned at that point, um, she still wanted to see what's happening, so she built windows in the buildings so she could still watch. And there's one left in the chapel. Oh yeah, the open day. I went on that. I didn't just apply to Christ's because it was first on the list. <laughs> well, how do we get access to the window? I suppose there must be a door leading to it from the Master's Lodge. I think I might have a plan. How? Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, there's the window! Oh, I'm not! The window's having 
So we need to work out the height from her eyes. 